I'd like to say a few words about static um, imports. This is a, a static import statement and uh, the effect of that is um, to um, import all accessible static methods and um, any accessible static field that should be singular there named M. Obviously you can't have more than one field named M but you can have uh, loads of methods all named M as long as they've got different signatures. Now um, there's another uh, static import statement and um, it turns out to be um, an error to end up importing two fields named M. Uh, two methods are uh, okay though uh, even if they are identical uh, and you'll only get an error if you uh, force the compiler into a situation where it's got to choose between them. If you do that then the compiler will tell you it's ambiguous. Now um, next thing to talk about is uh, scope and uh, the scope of a method is uh, where it can be accessed using just the simple unqualified name. So a simple name like that. And uh, here we see this uh, method uh, M there and um, the scope of that is the uh, entire body of this uh, class F so it's from there down to there and uh, there's another method uh, M there and um, the scope of uh, that is the body of uh, W and also because F extends W the scope is also the body of F down there, because uh, it's accessible within within this class F. Now, um, for import static stuff, um, if you're importing a method, the scope is the entire compilation unit. So it's the entire file. It's the whole lot right down to the end of file there so it could include any other classes as well. Now you'll notice that the um, scope of these M there and the one in W um, lies uh, within the scope of the imported M's and the effect of that is to what's called shadow any imported method M and uh, that means that you can't access any M using a uh, simple unqualified name from within this scope because within there it is been shadowed by both that M there and also by that M there as well. Now shadowing right does not check method signatures. So this is not like hiding or overriding. The, the signature doesn't count. It's just ignored. So any method M there will shadow every single method called M that you import using static import. So the whole lot is shadowed. And any sort of M, right? Any any method M. It doesn't matter that it, this is not a static M. It's just, it's just an ordinary instance method M, but it still works. It still shadows every one of them. So it means that um, uh, you can't you can't access that M using a simple unqualified name. If you want to access any of these imported methods M you've got to use a fully qualified name. That's the only way you can get at them from within this scope there. 